Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have an exciting word from the Lord today, and he has been speaking so loud and clear about this word for the last couple of weeks, and he just gave me the full word to release to you guys. So as you can see from the title, get ready for takeoff. God is bringing things full circle. And as always, I'm going to tell you guys how God gave me this word. So for the past few months and even weeks, I have been seeing rocket ships, rocket ship emojis, people wearing NASA shirts, like even vans and cars that have like a rocket ship, like business logo. Like I've been seeing this everywhere and I knew God was stirring something up. I knew he was speaking to me, but I didn't have any revelation from him about it. I didn't know what he was saying. I didn't know if this meant anything. All I knew is that God kept highlighting this to me. And so I kept remembering it and keeping it in the back of my mind and in my head until God was giving me revelation about this. And I knew at the right time, if it meant anything, he would make it clear. And he sure did. So about a week ago, I'm working on a new book right now. I'm writing a new book and I was in such a writing flow that I was actually impressed at how I was coming up with these sentences and these paragraphs. Like it was just, I was just in such a flow and I knew that God was speaking through me because one of the biggest ways that God speaks to me and uses me is through my writing and he has really gifted me to write. And so every single time before I write my book, I always pray and I ask God to just like speak through me, to flow through me. And this day he really was flowing through me and 30 minutes was gone by, had passed by and I forgot what I was even writing about. I'm like, what am I had to go back and read what I was writing about. And I go back and read and I'm like, this sounds really good. Like it didn't even sound like my writing. It did not even sound like it was coming from me. And I was like, whoa, that was really good. And one sentence I wrote, I'm going to read it to you guys, but one sentence I wrote was, you have no idea how God is setting things up right now from your rock bottom. The trial you are facing right now could all be a setup to your purpose. It is going to be the launching pad to your destiny. And in my book, I was referring to heartbreak because I was saying how God used my biggest setback for my toxic relationship as the launching pad to my purpose, to my destiny, which clearly led me to my ministry. And God gave me purpose out of the pain. He used the very same thing that was the biggest setback in my life, that was the biggest rock bottom. And he used it as, my, as the launching pad to my purpose. And so since then, since I, and I knew once I read my devotional and I saw the word launching pad, I knew that God was highlighting that for a reason. And I have heard that word everywhere for days straight after I read that in my devotional. Like even after I read that, I was like, that didn't even sound like, wow, that sounded really good. Like I didn't have that word in mind. Like it just came out of my fingertips as I was typing. And I was like, okay, God must've had me in a flow. And so literally after that, I kept seeing the word launching pad and hearing the word launching pad everywhere, like everywhere. The next day on the Bible app, it was like a devotional and the guy was talking about how it was a launching pad. And I'm just like, okay, like God is stirring something up. God is trying to speak to me. And I'm like, okay, God, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to tell me? And get ready for the story, you guys. Like literally buckle up because this is a crazy story. The other night I was writing all of this down in my phone notes, like just like writing down notes because I knew at some point God was going to connect the dots and give me revelation on this. And tell me how, after I was writing all of these things down and writing down like words that he was highlighting to me, I go on YouTube. Okay. And I don't know if you guys have noticed the difference between going on YouTube on your desktop and then going on YouTube on your phone. So if you're on your phone on like the mobile version of the app, once you pull up your phone, you will literally have videos like on your home, on your YouTube homepage. And it looks like an Instagram feed. It's like one video at a time. And this can be people that you're not even subscribed to versus like a desktop where you go and there's like 15 million videos that you can choose from. And it's not in like a feed. Well, I'm on my phone after I typed all these notes down. And the first video on my page is a lady that I don't even follow. I've never even watched her videos, so I don't even know why she's in my algorithm. Like, I have never seen this lady's videos. She's probably like 70 years old. She's like this cute old lady, and she released a prophetic word. And the prophetic title was called Get Ready for Blast Off. 
and I don't even follow this lady or like I said, have seen any of her videos. She, and she only had like 800 subs. And at the time that I watched this video, it had 200 views. And normally like if I'm, if something is in my feed, it's because it like went viral or it has like a couple of thousand views and it's just like in my algorithm. But I'm like, how did this video even get into my algorithm? And I wasn't even like talking out loud. Like, I'm like, what is going on? So I knew God was speaking to me. And so I'm like, okay, let me go watch this video because there's probably something in here that God wants me to hear or that God's going to use for me to give me my word. And so, like I said, only 800 subs and 200 views on this video. Remember that because that's going to be important. So I watched it thinking God wants me to hear something. And she literally is talking about rocket ships and launching and taking off. So I knew it was confirmation to what God had already been showing me with the rocket ships and launching pad. And I'm like, okay, God is giving me something. And so I started to do my research and I looked up what the definition of a launching pad is. And the definition of a launching pad is a place, thing, situation, et cetera, serving as the starting point or providing the push slash launch for or to something else. Okay. So I looked that up. That's not what she didn't mention that, but I looked that up. And so she goes on and refer and is referencing Psalm 23, five, which says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. And she was saying how God is going to fill you up so much that you're going to overflow with blessings, that there will be an overflow. Okay. So I'm just like, okay, cool. Like, you know, I receive her word. I'm watching her word. Tell me how y'all tell me how right after this, it had literally been an hour. Okay. An hour after I watched her video, I put on this random movie on Netflix. I'm not even paying attention to the movie. I'm not even watching it. It's called Think Like a Dog. I would never pick this movie, okay? I just put it on for background noise. I was working, I was doing stuff on my laptop, doing stuff on my phone, and I just had this movie on for random background noise. Tell me how an hour into the movie, I just happened to look up and I was like, no way, no way. This kid has a shirt on with a rocket and had fire underneath it. Like it was blasting off. Like you guys know when you see someone wearing like a rocket shirt or like a NASA shirt or something, it's literally just like a rocket or it'll, or it'll say like NASA on the shirt with just a rocket. But this rocket ship thing on the shirt literally had fire underneath it. Like it was blasting off. I'm like, right after I watched that girl, that lady's video saying you are about to blast off and I'm going to pop in these screenshots somewhere in these vid in this video but i was just like no way and then if you guys think that was weird so i'm seeing this on the tv i pause it and right before i pause it it's like a scene where two kids are talking the other kid that's not wearing this shirt goes your cup will spill over to me and i'm like wait he did not just say that because remember she had just referenced psalm 23 5 talking about an overflow of blessings your cup runneth over and so I'm like, no, 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 no freaking way. No freaking way. Okay. I rewind, you know, like when you're watching a movie and you're like, you think that they said something, but it's not what they actually said. So I'm literally like putting my ear as close to the TV as possible, like rewinding and playing, rewinding and playing. And I'm like, is he actually saying that? And so I wanted to double check that he was actually saying what I thought he was saying. So I put on the subtitles. Y'all, he literally is saying, my couple spill over to me. Your couple spill over to me. What? This is like a dog movie. God can use anything to speak to us, even movies. And I was like, and it was at the same exact time, like when I pause the screen and pause the movie, it's literally a picture of the rocket, of the rocket ship on this kid's shirt with the subtitles that say, couple spill over to me. And I'm just, or spill over to me. And I'm just like, okay, now God is, now he's giving me a word. And so I was just like, God is so intentional. Like the timing is just insane. So after I see this, I'm just like amazed. I'm like, what? So I go back to her video to rewatch because I'm like, maybe God has something else in there for me. Now that I know that God is giving me word, let me go back and see if I missed anything. Y'all tell me how. Remember, it's only been an hour since I just watched her video. She had like 200 views on this video. It had only been an hour. I was only an hour into this movie after I just watched her video. Tell me how in an hour's time, she went from 800 subs to over 1500 subs and from 200 views on that video to 16,000, which 
that was days ago. I don't even know how much it is now. But when I saw it again in an hour, I literally saw her own word come to pass saying blast off. And she literally took off right before my eyes. So that word came to pass. And it goes to show that God can do anything in the blink of an eye in a second overnight. She had been posting. So I was like looking at her videos. And I'm like, how long has she been in ministry? How long has she even been posting videos on YouTube? You guys, she had only been posting videos for like a year in ministry. And she literally elevated from one video. And she wasn't even monetized because she had less than a thousand subs. You have to have a thousand subs to get monetized. She had, she had 800 subs. And so I knew that that one video got her monetized because she had like 16,000 views on this video now, which may, she met her hours and she met her subs. So in one video, God elevated her in one blink of a second. You guys, it was an hour's time. I literally just saw her own word come to pass. And so God had already been speaking to me about get ready for takeoff. Like he had already been giving me those words when I would see the rocket ships, but I didn't have more revelation. And then I watched this lady's video and I literally saw that her own word come to pass. And so it was giving me more confirmation to what God was showing me that he is about to like, literally you are about to take off. So after I saw that, I'm just like, it gave me so much encouragement because if God can do it for her, he will and can do it for me and for you. I honestly couldn't believe it. I'm just like, okay, God, yep, this is a word. And I knew he was not done giving me everything to release this word just yet. So I just kept all of this in my phone notes. So the next day, it's literally the next day, I'm driving and I see this car in front of me with a license plate that said 360 on it. No other numbers, no other letters. Like it wasn't even a normal looking license plate. I've never seen a license plate like this. It had like a purple background and the letters were another weird color. And I just knew God was speaking to me. And so I wrote it down and I knew what 360 meant. 360 meant a full turnaround or like a full circle, bringing things full circle. So I kept that in the back of my head. I'm writing all this down in my phone notes because that's how God speaks to me. And so that night I knew that God was stirring up a word. And so I kept praying and talking to God about what all of this means. And I'm on YouTube again. I go on YouTube and I kid you not, you guys, that same lady who I had never seen before or subscribed to a video of hers pops up on my homepage. And what is it titled? He is bringing everything full circle. I was literally jumping up and down in my apartment. I'm like, I really hope that the person below me is like not hating me right now. But I was like, what? Like literally the same day, I just saw 360 and I'm like, God, what does this mean? I knew he was speaking to me and I go on YouTube and it's the first video of this same lady who I'm still not subscribed to. I don't even know this lady. I've never watched her videos. And here she is just like giving me the confirmation to what God has been showing me. I was seriously freaking out. And so of course I watched her video and in her video, she was talking about vindication from your enemies and how God is going to bring it full circle to bless you in front of your enemies, which I thought was also crazy because that connected to her other video when she was referencing Psalm 23, five, because it's talking about how God will prepare a table before your enemies and your couple runneth over. So God used both of her videos to bring my word that he was giving me together. He was giving he was showing me two separate, two videos of hers separately to bring one of my words together. So I started seeking him, <clears throat> excuse me. So I started seeking him of what he was saying specifically to me about the word that he was giving me and how I could use everything he was showing me to bring it all together. And so then I heard God say, Jeremiah 119. And I'm like, I don't, I don't remember. I haven't memorized that verse. I'm like, what is that? I'm like, is that even a verse? Like, so I go to my Bible. I flip open to Jeremiah 119. Tell me how in my Bible that was already underlined and highlighted. Like I've never memorized that verse. Like if you ask me like, what's Jeremiah 119? I wouldn't even know what it was about. I wouldn't even know what it was about. But I go to my Bible and I open it and it says, they will fight against you, but never prevail over you since I am with you to rescue you. And I'm like, okay, well, that kind of sounds like Psalm 23, five, that God will prepare a table before your enemies and God's going to rescue you. And he's going to, even though your enemies fight against you, even though your enemies are doing all of these things, God is going to deliver you in front of your enemies. He's going to, you're going to sit at the same table as your enemies, and he's going to bless you. Your cup is going to run it over in front of your enemies. 
God is going to give you an overflow of blessings and he's going to use that very same thing as your launching pad right in front of your enemies. The thing that, that was made to bring you back, the thing that was made to have a delay in your blessings, the thing that distracted you, the thing that brought you to rock bottom, that is going to be your launching pad. And that is going to be the place where God sits you down at the table in front of those enemies and blessing you. I was like, okay, God, like, what are you saying? What else are you saying? And this is what he gave me. And I'm going to read you verbatim of what I typed of what he was telling me. God is taking that thing or situation that you've been going through and going to use that as your launching pad. I feel it's coming before the end of this year. It's big. God is pouring out his blessing. So your cup will run over. Your cup will be so full that it will overflow to the people around you. What God is about to do in your life is going to be such a blessing. And I feel this right now. You are about to experience overflow and he's going to bring things full circle. The thing that has seems like a setback, whatever that is for you, that will be your launching pad for the overflow of blessings. You will have a full circle moment. So, okay. So God was giving me all of that. And I'm like, "Mm, okay, great God. But I still don't feel like it's the time that you want me to release it. Like there needs to be something else. Like I know when God is telling me to release something, like it will be like a for sure, like I'll know that the word is done that he's giving me and it's time to release it. But I still felt like something was missing. And so I waited another day. I waited another two days and I kept praying on it. And I'm like, okay, God, is there anything else that you want that you are trying to say to me? This is crazy. So there's like a, um, an IG friend that I have that I've never actually like met or anything, but he saw one of my videos from that. I posted like a couple of weeks ago, and it was about the story of Joseph and how God used every single thing that Joseph went through. And he used it as Joseph's launching pad to his destiny so that he could save his entire family from the famine. And so I had put that video on YouTube. It was only like nine minutes long. It's not even that long. I'll put the link in the description box. So you, you guys can go check it out. Um, but he had messaged me, this guy that I was friends with on social media, he had messaged me and he was like, Hey, Alicia, I loved your Joseph video. Is there any way that I can take the points from your video to make my own video and I'll tag you in it and, um, give you credit for it. And I was like, yeah, for sure. So didn't think anything of it. That was weeks ago. Okay. That morning that I was praying to God and asking him like, God, what does this 360 full circle mean? Like, yes, you've given me like bits and pieces, but like, is there anything else? That morning I get a notification on Instagram saying that that guy had tagged me in a video on his page. And I'm like, huh? Like I go on his page and he's doing the Joseph video. And he was like, thanks Alicia for giving me this video idea. And so I watch it and I'm like, Oh my goodness. There's the word. There's the end of the word that God gave me in the video. It was talking about how God used every single thing that was a setback in Joseph's life for good. And how, if he was never sold as a slave, he would have never saved his family. And you have to watch that video to understand. If you don't know the story of Joseph, it is in Genesis 37 through 50. Go read the story about Joseph, but his brothers tried to sell him as a slave and were pretty much having the intention to kill him. But God used every single thing that was meant to destroy him for his good, which is one of my favorite verses, Genesis 50, 20 which says you intended to harm me, but God intended it all for good. He brought me to this position so I could save the lives of many people. Joseph had a full circle moment. And when that guy on social media tagged me in that, that's when God brought it, my word all together. When I saw the 360, I'm like launching pad in full circle moment. What was meant to destroy you, God is going to use as your launching pad and God is going to bring it around full circle in the same place where your enemy saw you. You are not going to be in the same place when it gets back around. You are going to be the one to have the purpose. You are going to be the one propelled into your destiny and you're going to, and God is going to prepare a table right in front of your enemies to bless you. Your cup is going to runneth over it. You're going to have an overflow of blessings. You're going to have a full circle moment. What was meant for evil, God turned it into good and used it as a launching pad for your destiny and is going to propel you into this next season that God has planned for you. That thing will be a launching pad in a full circle moment. 
when it was ready for Joseph to get out of jail, God made it happen suddenly. As soon as Joseph got out of prison, when it was time, when it was God's timing, when he got out of prison, everything happened quickly. He found favor with Pharaoh. He became prime minister and then he saved his entire family. And if that would have never happened, if his brothers didn't try to sell him as a slave years prior. And God is about to do the same thing in your life. You are about to take off and God is bringing things full circle. God is about to do this suddenly in your life before the end of this year. I know it just like that lady who I saw literally take off in the blink of an eye in front of my own eyes. God is about to launch you and elevate you in the presence of your enemies. Guys, I really hope this word blessed you. I was so excited when God was just showing me all of these things like literally every single day, he was just giving me more confirmation. And I know that he's about to do this because I can feel it in my own life. I know that he's about to do this in my, my own life of what he's been showing me. And I cannot wait to come back and share a testimony of that. And I just hope and pray that receive this word. You guys receive this word, type in the comments and say, God is bringing things full circle. I receive and come back and share your testimonies. But I know that this word is going to bless so many of you guys and is going to be a confirmation Take every single thing from this video and ask the Lord if this word is for you. He will tell you. Take this, take every single word back for confirmation. But I love you guys and I hope it bless you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.